Hello everyone I am Amit from Mail Smartly Today in this video you will learn how to turn emails into task in Outlook Why anybody wants to turn email into task In simple language you need to follow up or you want a reminder For instance suppose you receive an email message regarding payment of your car insurance premium Usually they send reminder email few weeks before the due date and you don't want to miss the date there are couple of methods you can turn your email into a task which will remind you for the upcoming event first method drag and drop method first navigate to your inbox and select your email you want to turn into task so i just select this email now hold the email with your mouse left button and drag to the little clip on the left top corner of your screen Here is my task icon. If you are not using Outlook 365, you will get the icon on the left bottom of your screen. So just leave the mouse. When I leave it, a task window opens up and allow me to make some changes. So the subject is already in here. What the subject of the email is already fetch with the subject of email. The content of the email already available here. So I like to complete the information by putting some more inputs that remind me of it like start date so I just select this calendar and select the current date only now the due date so suppose uh, I have to pay my insurance premium after 7 days so I want reminder just a day before the due date so I select 5th of September priority i i can select my priority low normal or high so i just keep normal in the status in progress complete waiting for someone else or deferred so i select in progress or you can leave not started whatever you want it's not an issue what what kind of selection you select now i also want to set the reminder click the check box and my due date is 5th of september So I want the reminder a day before 5th September. So I just select this. Select 4th of September. I can also select the time. So I just uh, usually use my morning times. So I just select 9. And I can also click on this sound button. There are multiple options. You can select your favorite sound or whatever. Now click save and close. Now your email is saved in the task section. Let's see how it looks like. Click on the task. Now you can see all the details I have added and you can simply check out the mail you have added. So I have already added this and this is showing in the next week. This this is my upcoming event added in the task section. Next, the technique number 2. You can also flag your email to follow up. Under this method, all you have to do is to select an email. Suppose I select this email and I want to flag it. So under home section, go to tag section, click on follow up and there are multiple flags with their time period. If I want to follow up today, tomorrow this week next week no date custom i can select accordingly so i just select today after hitting a flag icon a small flag appears in the in front of the email that means this email is added in my to do list there is another way to flag this email is is i can select another one to show you how it how is what is the another different way so i just select this email now click right mouse button and here you can see an option of flag up the same uh, options which appears above are also available here you can also select today from here the same result will be appears so now i will show you how it looks so again go to the task and here you can see a flag email today this email is added in my to do list all i have to is to just follow up this email so it is added in the to do list so again i go to my mail section now the third option is drag and drop using mouse right button 
This process of choosing an email and dragging to the text icon is similar but the only difference is the mouse button. In the previous uh, technique we used mouse left button and in this technique we are using our mouse right button. The outcome would be slightly different. So let's see how it works. So I just select uh, this email. First I remove this flag. Now I select this email, click mouse right button and drag to the text icon. When I leave it, you can see there are three options appear. First is copy here as task with text. Second is copy here as task with attachment and move here as task with attachment. Now the first option is copy here as task with text. I click on it and show you how it works. So when I click on it, the first option copy here as task with text is as similar to the steps when you drag and drop the email message with the left mouse button. All you have to insert start date, your status, due date, priorities and you can add some uh, your content, some message and simply hit save and close. This is as similar to the above method. Next option is copy here as task with attachment. When you click on it, your previous mail is attached in a form of attachment. Rest of the things are similar. All you have to do is to enter the, the start date, your status, your due date, your priority, your uh, percentage of completion. You can also set the reminder, the reminder time, sound and many more and simply hit save and close. Now if you want to go through your previous mail what you have added you can simply double click on it and that mail will open. Now the third option, I'll show you again. Now the third option is move here as task with attachment. In this case, second option and third option are almost similar. But the only difference is the mail will be completely moved from your inbox folder to the task, which is somehow risky. If you want to follow up the specific mail later on, you are unable to find that mail in your inbox. So I uh, usually don't uh, recommend this option. Once you created your task from your email, so you want to know where they are and how you can always in touch with it. There are two ways you can look your task in Outlook. The first option is go to the top left corner of your screen. There are all the options available here. So I just click on this task icon. Once I click on it, my all the task to do list appears. I can easily view all my tasks on the screen. And the second option is change the view which brings task on the screen to your right navigation bar. Click on the view and in the layout to do bar, click on this to do bar and click on task. When you click on it, you can see all your tasks added in the right navigation section and you can spot all your tasks available here. I hope you found this video useful. Also, if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.